Hello, my name is Phil Nisfesma. I'm a specialist in energy management and one of my particular passions is debunking bogus energy saving products and exaggerated claims for energy savings. In this kitchen tabletop talk, I'm going to turn my attention to the subject of voltage optimization or voltage reduction to give it a more accurate name. And I'm going to demonstrate the principle uh, with this conventional desk lamp fitted with uh, an ordinary filament type spotlight bulb. And I'm going to plug the desk lamp into this black box. And this black box is a voltage optimization device. It's called a variable transformer and the purpose of it is to allow me to vary the voltage at which the lamp is fed. So uh, the other thing that I've got here is a power meter and the meter shows how much power in watts is being drawn by the voltage optimizer and the lamp that's plugged into it. You'll notice there's a small reading, three and a half watts registering already and that's because the voltage optimization equipment itself uh, incurs small power consumption. But when I turn on the lamp you see that the power drawn jumps up to just over 50 watts, which is the rating of the bulb plus the voltage optimization gear taken together. Now, when I reduce the voltage, we are taking it down past 220, if you watch what happens on the power meter, you'll see that the power drawn reduces as the voltage goes down. And I'll take it right down to 180 volts so that you can see the effect of an extreme voltage reduction. There we are. We're down to about 35 watts compared with over 50 when we were operating at full voltage. The desk lamp, meanwhile, is now glowing rather dimly. And it's one of the uh, side effects of this, that, of course, is that as you reduce the power input, you get less uh, energy output. I'm going to turn the voltage back up again, I'm going to take it back up to 240, and you'll notice that the power consumed goes up and should end up where we started, around 51 watts or so, once I get the voltage back up to 240. There we are, back to about 51 watts. OK, so now what I'm going to do is repeat the demonstration but this time, ouch, that's hot, I'm going to remove the filament light bulb and replace it with an LED equivalent. And as I hope everybody knows, an LED light bulb gives you the same light output but uses much less electricity. So here we are with the low energy light bulb in place. We start with our background 3.3 watts of consumption. Turn the lamp on and just let it register. There we are. The lamp is using uh, about 10 watts now at 241 volts. Now I shall reduce this voltage again. And let's see what happens as I reduce the voltage. See what happens to the power drawn by the lamp. It hasn't changed much so far. I'm going down to 190 or so. Uh, yeah, high 180s. There we are. I shall stop there. And I'll stop there partly because an interesting thing has happened. I'm now supplying at low voltage, 183 volts, but the power drawn by the lamp has gone up. It's now 11.9 watts compared with 10 point something before. And if I restore the voltage to something more normal, let's say about 230 volts, there we are, we'll see the power drawn by the lamp falls from 11 point something back down to 10 again. So there we have it. When voltage optimization, as they like to call it, is used with loads like LED lighting, the power consumption and the energy purchased will increase at lower voltage and not reduce. 
which is a bit of a pity when you consider that all the time you've got your voltage optimization gear energized, it is using energy itself as well on top of everything else. Thank you.